Disclaimer, be advised that I'm not a professional trader or advisor. I am sharing my trading journey for entertainment purpose only. Any opinions, news, research, analysis, price or other information contained in this video is my own opinion and does not constitute investment advice. I will not accept liability for any loss or damage including, without limitation to, any loss of profit, money, asset or any valuables which may arise directly or indirectly from use of information in this video. Trading foreign exchange indexes, stock market, futures, commodities, energy, precious metal, etc. carry a high level of risk and please trade on your own research and assessment. Please seek advice from a professional financial advisor for your trading needs. I'd like to start my video for year 2021 with a big wishes to everyone. Okay, Happy New Year 2021. And uh, I would like to personally wish you and your family a new year blessed with good health, good fortune and loss of joy. Okay, don't forget to stay tuned to my video. Thank you. Hello friends, welcome to Trading with KS. So today is another Forex video. Okay, this is a video of my personal update okay, on my journey in uh, forex trading so this is no, by no means a professional investment advice or uh, investment signal or whatever okay this is just me sharing my journey and the story of my trading okay to everyone so this is for entertainment purpose okay so uh, let's start with our uh, calendar okay I always for me right before I, I uh, go into the chart you know do my research on the next month, uh, sorry, next week uh, trading. I will take a peek at the uh, calendar to see what is uh, the important uh, news, high impact news for next week. Okay, so I will take note. Okay, on that day, I'll be a little bit more careful. Okay, so uh, next week on Monday, we got New Zealand still holiday. Okay, so, so still a lot of holiday around uh, New Zealand having holiday. So we got OPEC meeting, so this is a high impact on the uh, OPEC meeting on the Monday. Okay, so this could be a, a high impact news for the oil. Okay, oil will impact, as we, as we know, oil will impact Canadian dollar, okay, the Canadian currency because they are exporter of oil. So uh, we got pound, we got uh, this uh, manufacturing PMI, okay, expect to be the same. The OPEC meeting Monday, we got CAT, okay, manufacturing PMI, so Monday this two will affect the CAT dollar, okay, and on Tuesday we got a US, USA, okay, a manufacturing PMI, so they expect to be lower, okay, end of the year, uh, sorry, now it's beginning of the year, okay, uh, and the result is from end of the year, so they expect to be lower, so Wednesday we got Italy, uh, bank holiday, we got US uh, non-farm employment change, okay, very small uh, uh, output, okay, 75k only from 307 so they expect the job uh, vacancy is uh, not doing well, okay. So then we got a uh, BOE government really speak. So uh, for for pound right, the the conclusion, okay, they concluded everything on the Brexit, okay, now the uh, pound, uh, the Britain is officially uh, separated from the EU. Okay, so we have to see how it goes. But looking at uh, last week, looking at the uh, chart, right, it looks like the Britain they are happy. Okay, the pound actually strengthened, so it looks like they are happy. So uh, okay, so on Thursday we got a US uh, FOMC meeting. Okay, we have to see what are the FOMC members. Okay, saying. So to get a bit uh, to know how is the what how they forecast the coming economy situation. Okay, Thursday then we got unemployment claim. Of course, it won't look good. Okay, you can look at the employment change. You know this one will, will not look good. Okay, and uh, in the evening we got a CAT PMI fifty two point seven and US services PMI. Okay, this is manufacturing PMI. Okay, US, they expect a drop, also they expect a drop on services PMI, okay. 
So if the result come out better, okay, then it will be good for the USD. Okay, if the result come out worse, it will be worse. Okay, but uh, for employment, I think everybody already know. Okay, US employment won't recover for the so serious hit by COVID. So we don't think. Okay, I myself, I don't think it will recover so fast. Okay, so this one, people likely okay a lot of people will ignore this okay people will look at the positive future whether okay any improvement on the other indexes so uh, friday is an important day friday we got a uh, canada employment change unemployment rate okay we want to see whether uh, people are getting their jobs okay and uh, us okay we got to know the hourly earning the employment change and unemployment rate okay so this one we have to See, okay, they expect average hour earning to drop, okay, non farm employment change to drop, unemployment rate to increase a bit, okay, a bit. If it, it, it 6.7 to 6.8, if it, if it goes up a lot, then it's bad for USD, okay. But generally, USD did uh, stage a small rebound last, last week, right? So, okay, let's go into the chart. Okay, last week I talked about here, right? This is what I look at. Uh, last week, this one, right? This trend line, uh, this consolidation. Okay, I said if the price actually broke up from this consolidation, okay, there's opportunity to buy. But if the price actually drive back, dive back in again, I will look for uh, close a trade or break even. Okay, so this one actually. For me, right, this one, I already, my uh, trade is still open, okay, so the price is still breaks here, break back into the chart, okay, so if the price for me, right, if the price actually, uh, I'm considering to close the trade, okay, I put my stop loss somewhere here, okay, if the price continue to drop, okay, I will close the trade. Okay, if Monday morning the price goes up, okay, it goes back up into the uh, out of this range, right? Out of this range, this was the range that I I looked at last week. So if the price actually went back out of the range, I will still keep the trade. But if the price drop below this trend line, okay, I got one trend line here. Okay, if the price actually drop below this trend line, so I will close the trade. So if the price actually drop, the if the drop has continued to drop. Okay, how I would trade this uh, uh this pair? Okay, is that I will look for buy opportunity here 1.2160. If the price come here bounce up, okay, I will initiate a buy. Or if the price if it doesn't bounce here, it comes down to 1.2065. It bounce up, I will buy. Okay. Or if here also cannot hold, it come down to 1.2012 area and bounce up, I will buy. Okay, because we got this very strong trend line. Okay, long term trend line here. Which is supporting this move, okay? This move, okay? As long as the price is above this trend line, okay? I will continue to buy, okay? I will continue to buy as long as the price is above. If the price drop below here, okay? So we talk about this next time, okay? Because it's still quite far away, okay? If the price actually goes back up next week here, okay? I will still hold on to the trade. Okay, so pound has staged a recovery. Okay, I didn't trade pound because of the Brexit. Okay, so I didn't trade. Uh, I don't generally. I don't like to trade the those uh, 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 pair. Right, this is have that has very very big news. Okay, ahead like the election, U.S. election. Okay, like the Brexit, all these things. The generally at this kind of time, right, at one to two weeks, okay, to the to the final result, right, the, the, the market, you know, their currency will be chaotic. It will be very, very difficult to make anything out of these uh, uh, stocks, you know, uh, sorry, out of this uh, currency pair, you know, one to two weeks before the final judgment day. So generally, I don't trade this type of uh, stock during this kind of time. Okay, so 
the for pound right so now Brexit already done and it's positive see after the Brexit announcement right it's positive okay so this is the most important support resistance area now the price already come out here we test okay and went up okay so then we got a support over here at 1.359 okay and support over here a uh, resistance over here 1.376 so I, what I would do is okay so I would do is look for a price to drop okay retest this 1.3612 area and rebound or price to come back here and test this uh, 1.3479 okay these two area if the price bounce up so I will initiate a buy okay, I, will need, I will not initiate a buy here because the price will be gone halfway to the target okay so after a pullback after a pullback to here or after a pullback to here okay I will initiate a buy Okay. Yeah. Close the. Close my tool. Okay. Let's look at USD JPY. USD JPY. I talked about this consolidation area, right? Okay. This consolidation area. If the price is still broke out, okay. Opportunity to buy. So the price is still broke out and. Uh, reach the first target here 1.348 okay so the price is now consolidating over here okay if the price die back inside here okay I will consider to close the trade and zoom out a bit I will consider to close the trade okay but if the price can maintain within this two trend line okay within here okay within here if the price can come here and it actually managed to break out from this area so I will look for the okay the target sell the target to 102.107 okay I will only close the trade if the price actually close back into the consolidation the previous consolidation area okay if there is a bounce over here okay I will continue keep the trade until 102.77 okay if the price actually broke up from here okay then I will look for a bounce at this area 103.75 or this area 104.265 for a sell okay for a sell well, this is a downtrend right we only sell the downtrend AUD USD okay target first target already hit okay I spoke of about this area last week right the price broke out from this area, it initiated a buy, so the price will see went up, okay, hit the first target. Broke out, hit the first target, now it's moving towards the second target. Okay. So this one, we just have to wait, uh, open the, the trade and wait for the price to move to the second target. If the price actually move back back into consolidation, okay, means the uh, this could be a retracement back to the lower area, okay. And if uh, if I don't take take profit right here, if I don't take profit here, I keep it open, okay. But the price really move so far, I afraid that if the price came down, if I will, I will get I will get some losses, right? So I will uh, I would already put my uh, stop loss to break even okay stop loss to break even target here okay if the price actually came back okay came back down to hit my stop loss break even I will look for a, a bounce over here 0 0.7593 okay or a bounce over here 0 0.7515 to buy or 0 0.7463 or 0 0.7396 okay I will buy the part price that bounce from this uh, support area okay if the price actually do came down it's a 
uh, longer retracement. Okay, if a small retracement, you retrace over here. But if it's a big retracement, it will come down to these few areas and to bounce up, then I will buy. Okay, it's our next opportunity to buy the pair. Okay, similar. Similar to NZD USD, okay, NZD USD. So we talked about this range uh, consolidation. So the price broke out is a buy opportunity. Okay, the price will hit target, first target. Okay, so we have a pin bar here. Okay, uh, uh, a momentum loss. Okay, a momentum loss. Uh, so, so uh, for this trade, right, I have read. I have already put my stop loss to break even because the price really go up. So for me, right, it really gone to my first target. Okay, so I will put on my stop loss here. For anyone, okay, for me, right, I would have uh, taken some profit over here because when I see this, right, this a pin bar, this a pin bar, right? Pin bar means a reversal pattern. Okay, means the price might go come back down. Okay, so to save. Uh, to, to, to safeguard my investment, I really take some profit over here. Okay, just in case if the price come back and I already put to break even. Okay, break even. Okay, just in case the price come down here to, to and goes back into the consolidation. So if the price if the price actually comes down here and bounce, it's another opportunity to buy. Okay, if the price come down to here, 0, 0 0.7015 and bounce up, another opportunity to buy. Or price come down to 0 0.6916, another opportunity to buy. Okay. So if the price continue to go up over here, okay, so we keep our uh, I will keep my my uh, uh, trade open, okay, because I put already put my stop lot to break even here, so I got nothing to lose, okay. So USD cap. USD cap we talked about here. I talk about my uh, story, my consolidation is here, okay, the price break off from here, then it's a buy. Okay, let's condense it a bit. So this is a buy, oh, so the price broke up from here, it buy. Okay, so already reached the first uh, target, the second target, okay. So if the price did die back in here, okay, possibility to close the trade. Okay, wait for the price to come back out here, then we buy again. Okay, our target is towards 1.2617. Okay, my target is 1.2617. Okay, so if the price really came down here, okay, consider to close the trade, wait for it to come out to sell again. Sorry, not buy, uh, just now. Sorry, to sell, uh, I will sell. Uh. So I wait for sell. So if the price actually, if it broke back here, okay, it consolidate over here. And it bounce over here 1.2933. I would initiate a sell. Okay, if it bounce over this, well, this is a support. Okay, this is a support. If the price came back down here, bounce. Okay, I would sell. Or the price come down here 1.3030. I would sell. Okay. So the important support resistance line is here. Okay, as long as the price is still above below here, I will sell. Continue to sell all the weakness. Okay, all the price action that. Bounce from all this support line, okay. Uh, sorry, resistance line. So we look at a uh, goal, okay. Goal still in a uh, no man's land, okay. Nothing to do, land, right? We talked about this, right? This is the area, this is a box where the okay, where the bear is winning, okay. The bear is winning, okay. Goal is trying hard to break out. From the this uh, box, okay, and this is the resistant trend line. Okay, I will not buy gold as I said. I'm still watching this. I will not buy gold unless it breaks out from this box and this supporting uh, resistant trend line it breaks out here. Then good opportunity to initiate buy. Okay, towards one nine five two, one nine nine six, and two zero six seven. Okay. So this is uh, the the target if the price actually can break out from the one nine zero nine area. Okay, I have to wait for here. Okay, because as long as the price is still inside here, okay, still inside this box, this is a 
a beer box okay the bear where the bear is in control you don't want to be you don't want to buy in a area territory in an area where the bear is still in control means the favor is not on your side okay you might, why you want to be for me right I don't want to put my uh, money be in a in a uh, uh, situation right where it's not on in my favor right so this is not in my favor I'll wait for the price to come out here okay so this is the my analysis a quick one for this week okay this is just my story I'm sharing my story my uh, in trading okay I've been trading for almost like six years now okay so uh, I have been through a lot you know a lot of uh, uh, good uh, good profit you know, a lot of losses big losses so I've been through a lot okay so if you guys have any comment okay please comment on my uh, on this uh, video okay if you think this video is entertaining or you need any more uh, 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 information on, on what I share today okay so you please do comment and you guys have any suggestion also please comment or you, know, you want to uh, see anything else you know but generally uh, I just only trade this uh, pair you know the major pair I don't trade all the all the uh, uh, other pair that is uh, quite that is uh, quite difficult you know there are other pair that are uh, 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 people trade okay uh, but those are less liquid okay and uh, a bit more difficult to trade Okay, of course they move very fast okay those type of uh, uh, pair right like South African you know all those uh, 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 pair like uh, they call it exotic pair right exotic pair so it's, it's generally very when you when some of those pair exotic pair you look at the chart you know, wow so the price moves so fast it's very difficult yeah, very easy to make money but actually it's more difficult okay because there's less people controlling the the, the currency right means it's very easy to be manipulated okay it means people someone can actually just make the price move so easily okay move in their favor okay so and that means right the chart pattern the candlestick pattern all those are not that important okay because not that many people actually control the pattern okay so a few people only control so they can actually uh, 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 manipulate okay manipulate what is happening on the okay on the chart okay so this is just my opinion right this is what I see based on my uh, six years trading experience okay but of course there's not there's not 100 percent what happened okay but for me what i see is like that okay the less people those are uh, uh, exotic pair that the less people trade right the easier for somebody to control okay when somebody is control you want to beat them is very really difficult okay because you as we we as a small retailer right okay there's no way we can fight fight the big big uh, uh, investor you know that are actually manipulating the the market so what we can do okay we, we must follow them but if we treat the major pair because a lot of people are controlling the stock so not only a single party right can manipulate just like that okay so the tendency you know when you when I see certain pattern when I see certain candlestick pattern or a chart pattern you know tendency for the chart pattern to fulfill right is higher because more people look at it and more people actually uh, implement okay that chart pattern okay implement follow the chart pattern the more people implement okay the mass crowd the, the crowd implement so it's more difficult for one people to fight the mass market okay and uh, control the manipulate the, the, the currency okay so that is my story remember right always remember to like my video you know share it with your friend uh, subscribe okay remember and also ask a friend to subscribe if you find this uh, uh, video entertaining for you okay and also remember to uh, stay safe okay from COVID and uh, see you again bye bye